But first, we want to get to breaking news. Ex-Detroit Councilman Andre Spivey has learned his sentence after being convicted in a bribery case. That story tops our news here at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Evrod Kasumi. Spivey was convicted of receiving almost $36,000 in bribes as part of a corruption scandal engulfing City Hall and the police department. Let's send things out to Rob Maloney. He joins us now live with a look at his sentence. Rod? Yeah, hi, uh, Evrod. It was two years the federal judge sentenced Andre Spivey to. The reverend and former council member came into the courthouse expecting to go between 36 and 47 months. Those were the guidelines that were given. But uh, there was considerable support for the uh, reverend. In fact, we're going to show you some video now of him coming out of the courthouse uh, feeling rather triumphant because his sentence is about a year less than what he thought he was going to have to serve. And so there were a lot of people supporting him. In fact, there were a couple of hundred letters put into his case file of people supporting him. And his supporters filled the courthouse today, two full courtrooms, trying to show the judge that Andre Spivey does not deserve to be sent to prison for as long as the federal government wanted him to. And uh, as a matter of fact, Elliot Hall afterward had this to say about what the judge did and how it all went. He's remorseful. He's, he's very sorry that he got into a financial situation that required him to do these deeds that he fully uh, is responsible for. But, you know, the bottom line with public officials is that everybody would like to be Michael Bloomberg. <laughs> well, he was talking about Michael Bloomberg and the fact that he went into office wealthy and didn't need any more money, and so there wouldn't be susceptible to bribes. Now, the judge did uh, take Spivey to task, saying that he'd sold his soul and his vote. Prosecution similarly went after him, saying that uh, the city of Detroit is sickened by what has all transpired here. But as it stands right now, the Reverend Spivey did get some more uh, mercy from the judge in that his daughter's graduating from high school uh, in the spring. The judge decided he needed to be there for that, so he does not need to report to prison until July 1st. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All righty, Rod, thank you.